Hi, Sir Stillwater. Next video in the Great Building series. This is a modern era Great Building. This is the Atonium. So pretty cool looking, molecular looking modern building. Uh, let's talk about it. So <laughs> here it is on its little tile card thing. Here it is in the wild. You see it's kind of hanging out over here in the corner. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, it casts some shadow over some stuff behind it, but it, the way it's kind of cool, the way it's built, uh, you can still see through it. So you can still get the stuff if you need to go back there to collect and stuff like that. So that's kind of a cool, kind of a cool angle at it. So let's see, what do we know about the Atonium? The Atonium is a modern era great building, like I mentioned. Um, it's pretty big, seven by six. Uh, construction costs are 200, 200, 250, 500, 600. Uh, 600 packaging, I believe that is, yep. And then that's uh, 500 luxury materials. So we're starting to get a little expensive in some of the construction goods uh, for those for those eras. And the cool thing is, I really like um, the Forge Vampires Phantom.com wiki. I have no affiliation to it. I just like it. So I'll go and put a link down below so you can kind of use it um, if you're interested as a resource to learn more about this or other great buildings or anything about the game, really. Um, we're going to read about it. This is all kind of my interpretation of it here in my videos. So just trying to help share the knowledge. Uh, so this is cool because I didn't never knew the history on it. I thought this was a conceptual building. I didn't realize this is a real building. If this is for real, I haven't done my research yet to see uh, the details on it. But if it's even still around, but it was built for the World Expo in 1958, the first after World War II, and it's in Brussels. So, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's that's really awesome. You know, I never knew that. It's kind of learning world history as a as an adult here. So, uh, let's see. So what does it do? It takes up seven by six is one thing, but at the uh, benefit of happiness, of course, we can all use happiness by the time we're up to the modern era um, because probably have a lot of population and that needs to be offset with some happiness so we can kind of keep uh, the production boost coming. I mean, the 120% um, boost coming uh, and so on, keep people happy. And then the production bonus is guilds good production. Um, so again, as a guild's good production versus a your own goods production, um, it will pay that. You'll do a daily collect on this of that quanti that amount times each of the goods from your era. So in this case, it'll be six times um, industrial, I think, in my era. It'd be six times each of my industrial goods every day for the guild treasury, uh, which is a nice um, nice collection. And I think I'm like level seven. So it's, I think I'm getting 13 per on this building plus my other great buildings. But the nice thing there is that uh, automatically contributes into your guild treasury. Um, so if you're in an active guild that's doing a lot with guild expedition or guild battlegrounds and stuff like that, um, it just helps you know, lay into the cause. And it's just a good, it's a good communal building to build uh, if, you, if, if, you're, if you're a guild player. So if you're not a guild player, I don't think it does anything with that. I think you just get the happiness side of it, but... Um, there you go. That's the Atonium. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions. Uh, is it worth building? What are your thoughts of it compared to other guild buildings? Like, you know, I think the Ark's going to give you some guilds goods. Uh, so is the Observatory. Um, and there's some others too, I think. But um, I, I think it's cool looking too. So, but I'm curious what you think. I thought throw them below. I appreciate it. Um, more great buildings coming. I'm kind of working my way through the list. And I'm also going to be building some playlists for certain types of things. Uh, like in this case, the great buildings that contribute to the guild. Uh, great buildings that produce happiness. Things like that. I'll just so do different playlists like that. So if you're looking for, hey, I want to increase this or that. Um, I kind of make it easy to kind of look at the menu of different buildings that will fit that, fit that need. So just an idea. Just trying to help. So thanks for watching. And have a great day. Stay tuned. More videos coming. See you soon. Bye.